Hi, and welcome to the new episode of the 3D Printing Bunker with Billy Tinker. Today we are going to install BL Touch, but also start working on our firmware. So stick around, and in 10 seconds we will start. So, first of all, Let's remove all those zip ties here. What will we do today? Today we are going to install BL Touch. For that we have to remove screws here. Let's check for any print residue here. Oh, everything looks okay. And now Tighten this in a bit. So, what's next thing to do? Next thing is we have to get these wires inside this sleeve here. In order for us to insert uh, wires in the sleeve, what we have to do is we have to pull everything back and this will expand this sleeve. And what I'll do, I'll start from that side and pull it uh, to the other, so we have larger connectors on this side. And here they are. So this is logic or servo and this is connection or sensor. Nope, like this. So black is on black white on white and brown red yellow brown red yellow or brown red orange okay this should be it uh, let me get some tape and i'll tape this i'll be right back wires are now in and okay so let's connect the wires Black wire is ground and one white wire is signal. So we will disconnect this Z stop. Although it should be possible to keep Z stop and have Z stop switch. Z minimum stop as a switch and Z maximum as a, a BL touch. Sorry, orange, brown, and yellow. Cables here are a bit inverted. orange or red 
brown and yellow. Okay. Hmm, I hope this is it. We should get the case back. Wires now are a bit short. But I think we will overcome that. Let me close this up and tidy it a bit and I'll be right back. And here is a brief tutorial on how to install latest Marlin firmware on the SKR 1.3 board. First thing we have to do, of course, is we have to download the Marlin. So we will go to download and choose download zip file. And let's open it when done. Next thing, of course, we want to do, we want to extract files. I have already extracted them on a folder I'm using. So let me switch there. And here we have folder with the all of the model programs I'm currently using or working on. So this one, this is the version I will be working on today. This is the new one uh, downloaded today. Those two are old ones. I think this one is original SKR, um, original version from the uh, Big Tree Tech uh, GitHub page. And this one is the version I'm currently printing on. I have a couple of firmware files here uh, prepared just in case. But as I said, today we will work on this version. Uh, I'll briefly go through the installation of the uh, platform IO or Atom. So let me change just the window here. Okay, so if you haven't already uh, tried to compile, uh, edit or compile your own firmware for the 2D printer, for the Merlin uh, 2.0, uh, we are going to use Atom. First thing, of course, we have to do is install it. So let's download it. And let's start installation. And of course, if anything can go wrong, it will. Uh, I had a problem with the OBS and unfortunately it didn't want to record Atom. So if you're interested in work around how to get OBS to record Atom, just leave me a comment down below and I'll post you tip and trick for that. Okay, so now that we're back in Atom, it has installed itself. Let's go to File, Settings, and we have to install Platform IO. And let's look what we have Platform IDE. Okay, let's install it. And you will now probably have a pop-up screen like this. And let's press install here. And at this point we have to install dependency. So the web page will open. And here we just follow the instructions. So we will go with the 60-bit version. And after the download is finished, we will start it. And as it says, I will just follow the instruction and click on add LLVM to the system path for all users. Next, next, install, and that's it. If you get any window pop up in the background, just press any key and it will close. And after a couple more minutes, it should be finished. And we are done. Let's get back to Atom. 
and let's restart it. And we have platform up and running, we have platform IO. Platform IO menu here, we have um, compile or build and upload functionality on this side with all the other icons here. But before we go on to Merlin uh, firmware, we have to download yet another component. This is Git downloader. So let me change the window. This is Git. We'll use download this version. We downloaded Git 2.23 64-bit version. And let's execute it. Let's install it. Next, next. Let's keep everything simple. Next, 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 next. So all the default settings. And that's it. Let us now go to our Marlin folder and prepare files to be edited. So we'll go to the latest version here. Configuration, examples, reality, Ender 3. Now that we are in this folder, let's just select all the files and copy. And we'll now go up a couple of folders back to the this folder will go to uh, Marlin subfolder and we will overwrite those files that are here. So configuration H and configuration dash ADV up or advanced paste and we will uh, replace the files in destination. What this has done, uh, we have downloaded previously uh, original Merlin firmware, latest copy from the web. Then we went to the examples folder and we copied already prepared examples for the uh, Creality Ender 3 Pro printer. So if, for example, you have Ender 5 or some other printer, you can go to examples, select the configuration you want and just copy it here in the Marlin folder. Okay, we are done here. So let's go back to Atom. In Atom, we will open a new project. We will go to location where we extracted our files. And we will select this folder where we have everything listed, uh, including the Marlin folder. So select it. And everything is loaded and prepared. Okay, it's taking a bit longer at my machine because I'm using uh, network attached storage and for some unknown reason it's taking it down. Here is our repository of files needed to compile Marlin. If we check this folder, you can see that we have configuration advanced and configuration dot uh, h both files here as well as boot screen and status screen for the printer before we proceed first thing we have to do we have to configure platform in it so let's open this one as you can see default environment is this one we need to change it to the compatible or to match the uh, environment of the SKR board. So we will search for LPC and this is the uh, name of the environment we want to use. So what we have to do, we have just to select this, copy, go back and replace this part, paste it over. Okay, press Ctrl S to save it and this is it for this part. Let's go to configuration.h. Let's scroll back to the serial part. Serial port should be minus one. And next thing we have to do, we have to uncomment this serial port or serial port two and change this to zero. We'll leave a uh, board rate as it is. And the next thing we have to do here is we have to change the board. We are not using Creality Melzi board. We are using SKR 1.3. So 
we have to go to source core boards and search here control f skr and here we have name of the board we are going to copy so it's board underscore big tree underscore skr underscore version v1 underscore 3 let's copy it and let's go back to configuration h and we will replace this board melzik reality with our board we can now save so what we have done so far is we have configured our uh, platform in it and we also have uh, configured configuration.h to work with the skr 1.3 board we still haven't configured tmc 2209 stepper drivers that's our next thing after that we will compile it i will compile it and i will prepare also firmware with the uh, bl touch after that and the last thing i will compile a firmware that will include a filament runout detector let us proceed let us now open configuration advanced Control f to search and let's type auto fan and here we have to set the fan for the extruder and this fan is uh, on the skr 1.3 board p2 underscore zero four okay that should be it for now Control s to save and we have configured our fan for the extruder now let's go back to configuration.h and here let us search for the uh, x driver x driver type so we are using x y z and e0 I myself have replaced all the A4988s with the TMC2209, so for the X, Y, Z and extruder 0, we'll replace those with the TMC2209. And next thing we have to do, we have to uncomment all of those, so 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's press save. And here we have some additional configurations. For this time, we will leave them alone. Next thing we have to do, we have to check for the uh, VREF current. In one of the versions of Marlin, I had my current set too low and I was keeping steps on extruder. So let's go to configuration advanced H. And we have here currents for the X, Y, Z and extruder. As you can see, this current is 650 and I've set it to 900 for my printer. Uh, what others recommend is to put here 760 this is from the Michael from the teaching tech so I'll replace it with 760 Y 760 Z 760 and as I said my extruder will be on 900 okay let's press save next thing let's search for the uh, stealth chop and we have stealth chop enabled our chopper timing is set to 24 volts that's okay 
and let's search for define monitor driver status and let's uncomment it. And let's go down and let's uncomment hybrid threshold. Let's save it one more time. And this is something that I will be uh, uncommenting here and all my firmers have it uh, enabled. So let's uncomment TMC debug. This can help you with debugging of future problems or potential problems with the TMC stepper drivers. And let's save. And this is it for now. Um, TMC stepper drivers are now configured. Let's save it one more time. And what I'll do now, I'll compile this firmware and test it on the printer. And let's compile this. And we received an error. Let's check what this is. So, mm -hmm. cycle count, something, 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 not declared. Give me a second. And of course, since I'm recording this today for tomorrow, uh, this video should be re uh, released tomorrow. There is an known issue with the latest version of the Marlin. As I said, no, maybe I didn't say, as the title calls it, it's a Marlin uh, bug fix 2.0.x. So this firmware is not for production, meaning that there can be some bugs in it. Well, what I'll do, I'll load firmware that I'm currently using and I will compile that uh, firmware. Let me just open a project. And here we have my old version. This is from the end of September. And this is the working version. Let's check if everything's okay. Platform in is so it is configured for our board. Configuration H, serial port okay. Second serial port okay. Boundary okay. Board is okay. And configuration advanced. Let's for, search for the current is a bit low, but okay, we will can put it higher. Let's put it to 700, 700, X, Y, and Z, 700. And E0 should be 900. Okay, let's save this. Let's search for BL touch. We have defined BL touch here and filament. Filament runoff sensor is also defined. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll compile a couple of versions of this firmware. Let's start. It should take about two minutes. And that's it. Let me just check the folder. And we have been filing the folder. So now we have firmware that has everything enabled. Next thing, I'm going to disable a filament runout sensor. Save it and we will compile a version with the filament runout sensor. Let me just rename file. And we will call this version SKR 1.3 TMC TMC 2209 BL touch. Filament run out uh, 
firmware. Okay, so this firmware is saved. I will post the link to this firmware down uh, in the description of this video. Now let's just compile this one. And this version is also done. And next thing we want to do is we want to find BL touch and we will disable it. Save. Let me rename file first. So the file name will be skr1.3 tmc229 bl touch because we removed filament runout. And the last one will be, as we said, as we uncommented here, bl touch. Sorry, we commented here bl touch will be version without bl touch. So pure skr1.3 and tmc229 separate drivers in, I think, UART mode. So let's compile this one. And our third firmware is also done. Okay, let me rename the third one. Okay, so we have three firmwares that will be available for download. I will also be including configuration advanced and configuration edge, so you can play with them. In those files, I will restore everything including filament runout detector so let me uncomment this let me uncomment that bill touch let's the end filament okay so saved and those three are firmwares for the skr 1.3 on ender 3 pro or ender 3 it would work on both Okay, so this is it for today's episode. Um, unfortunately, it took me a bit longer to record this episode than I predicted. I gave myself two hour window to record. Uh, that was the two hour window I had from my family. But I've spent a little bit over it due to various issues, problems with the recording and installation and firmware building. But nevertheless, this is the end of this episode. I hope that, well, I know that my printer is now up and running and working great. I still have one issue I want to resolve and this is the relay for controlling the power supply uh, or better to say relay to control power to the SKR board. Second relay is also not working. So I've ordered third relay this time and I hopefully it will work. But in future, I will not be showing any builds or upgrades unless I do, for example, upgrade of my uh, extruder to direct drive or I exchange my hot end for all metal hot end or something like that. But so far, my printer has been working great with this motherboard and TMC2209 stepper drivers and build touch I've installed. Uh, prints are excellent. I'm printing a couple of, well, one large project. It takes me roughly 30, 35, maybe 37 hours to print uh, this project and I have to do it three times. I also received uh, Arduino boards for it. I'm currently waiting for the LEDs and hopefully next video will be on me printing this and assembling it. And it will be a fun project because it will combine two parts. Uh, this will be 3D printing with the Arduino and also LEDs. So it will be fun. If you have any kind of a question or comment in regard to this episode or any other episode, 
please leave it down below in the description. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified with future updates. And I will be seeing you in two weeks. Until then, bye bye and have fun.